Hello, this is Sully Island. This is a potted history by Carl James Langford. We're just looking at the stern of a vessel and the starboard side ribs of what I used to believe when I was a child to be a Viking ship. Now I'm 43 now, it's not a Viking vessel. This grounded on Sully Island in 1911. It's a vessel known as a catch and there's very little of it left from what I remember when I was a child where the ribs used to point up to the sky. A large amount of the metal hull is still there and as we go towards the bow you can what you see there is a big chunk of iron and it's a shame that there's very little to see today but you can see this from the mainland and it just still stands out and it's quite quite strange and you can see the iron clad in there as well probably in about 50 years this will all be but gone if the scrappies get on the island it'll be completely gone we move on to the land and we look at what can only be described with the reeds in the distance as a natural pond on the island the island is extensively overgrown and as you hack through the undergrowth as I'm doing now going towards the centre of the island and then the next bit of the video with a little bit of a gap takes us onto the bank and ditched um, enclosure of the site otherwise known as a hill fort so this was actually done um, filmed on the island as we're going forward uh, we're actually this is this is known as the outer scarp where we're standing and we're going into a bit of a ditch so this is where the ditch is by here and then Guess what folks, it rises again. So we've got another bank by here and it goes all the way back down and it goes into a bit of a ditch. And then folks, what we do then have is another bank in front of us, not Barclays. The last one was Barclays. So if we go up here, so we've got another bit of a bank, very steep bank. And then it goes back down again. Are you taking any notice of this? Good. So it, go, it goes back down here. Uh, and that is the first set of banks and ditches. For the multi pallet hill fort, there's only one fifth of the original hill fort left now. Even are you? Going up to the east of the island, looking towards the sound and Swanbridge and Sully. We're at the focal point of the island and at this point there's at the headland there's a Bronze Age burial mound and we're looking towards as we go down the slope towards the banks and ditches that we've previously come over and we're looking again we're, we're going back towards the centre of the Bronze Age mound and that's the damage that's been caused to the internal banks and ditches at the site uh, through various um, activities of people walking. Again, back onto the Bronze Age mound at the site. And this itself would have been um, within the heart of a fairly large banked and ditched enclosure otherwise known as a hill fort and as I previously said only a fifth of it remains now. Um, Sally Island was originally landlocked um, probably sometime in about the 1300s um, in one of the great storms uh, the sound was um, created which meant that only at low water could you then get on to the island. What you can make out is Sully once was part of a large uh, sheep in moor that linked the medieval landscape and we're looking again at the vessel anyway thanks for listening and watching this video and hopefully we can do more of this thank you Carl James Langford Archaeology Cymru